Welcome back. I'm TV and this is Truth Viral where the truth goes viral. Today's subject is going to be health. Are you healthy? Are you in shape? Are you out of shape? What shape are you? Are you shaped like a pear? Are you shaped like a pole? Look, it doesn't matter what shape you are, you need to be healthy. Or you need to at least try to be healthy. Okay? And there's a lot of things going on right now that prevent us from being healthy. Okay, we're going to talk about some of those things in this video. One of the things that we just should get out the gate is Fukushima. Okay, that's probably not making it easy to stay healthy right now. Background radiation, hot particle radiation, the effects and the differences of those. That's something you should look into, okay? I've done a video on, on Fukushima in the past and the, some of the effects of the radiation, how to prevent those, okay? What we put into our body. Do you ever remember anybody of your mom, dad, grandma, uncle, aunt, somebody in your family that raised you, ever teach you an elder that you are what you eat? Do you care about what you put in your body? Do you filter your water? How much water do you drink a day? Are you one of those people that don't drink and doesn't don't drink? You don't drink any water at all? And I know a lot of people say they don't drink water. You know, this day and age, I don't know if that's such a bad thing with all the fluoridation of the water. All the stuff they're adding to the water. It's almost like a double-edged sword, you know, kind of damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. So, I can tell you what, you're damned if you don't drink no water or don't drink any water. So you should filter all your water that you drink, okay? There's lots of good ways to filter your water. I use the Big Berkey system. It's the largest system I could find on the market. And I don't want to be short on water, so that wasn't a hard decision. I think a Procure system is a good system as well. The only two systems are the difference between the two systems that I've seen. I shouldn't even put this out there, but this is Truth Viral. The difference between the two filters is they work exactly the same. The Pro Pure Pro Pure filters come from China. The ones from Big Berkey come from America. So you can make your choice. Things in America used to be made awesome, right? How about us, Made in America? We used to be made awesome, weren't we? Back before they started attacking us and spraying us. Don't you think? Let me tell you this too. Health care. You got some of that Obamacare? How's that working out for you? Did you get penalized yet? Tax season's coming up. If you don't have it, you're going to get penalized for not having Obamacare. You know how I avoid Obamacare? I stay healthy. I wouldn't go to a doctor if I, I you know, emergency room. It's going to have to be an emergency to get me to go to the doctor. I don't want to go there. That's a good another way to stay healthy. Stay out of the emergency room. Stay out of the places where all that disease and viruses and things are at, right? Does that make any sense? Health. Flu shots. Isn't there enough information about flu shots that that's not even the flu shots are giving you for the current year and all the stuff they're adding to them? Vaccinations. How about this, guys? This I put. I should have started this video and wrote something down on this video and try to get some order because number one is how are you doing spiritually? You know, if you're spiritually doing good, your stress level is probably a lot lower and you're probably doing a lot better than most. So I'd take care of that first. Get right with God. That's right. Get right with God first, and I bet you all the other things will come to you. Maybe God brought you to this video. 
anyways I want to try to, before I run out of time, about halfway through this video, and I want to try to wrap these things up, try to make them too long. So, guys, iodine is extremely important. Every cell in your body needs iodine. I wouldn't go without it. I buy the, the Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Electrified goes right into your body. You can buy potassium iodine from a, a health food store. You can get it, poor man's iodine, as we call it, in Himalayan pink salt. You're supposed to get iodine from food, from the food you eat, the fish and the sea salt. I wouldn't recommend iodized salt out of a, you know, Morton type of a, a, a product. Natural sea salts, okay? Probably the best iodine on the planet does come from Infowarshop.com. There you go. little hit for Alex Jones there. Didn't even do it on purpose. Just came out that way. It's the truth. Okay, it's a deep earth crystal. It's probably the best iodine on the planet. Probably the next thing that you can do for yourself is open your eye, your third eye. And you can do that by taking coconut oil. Lots of ways to take it. Cook with it. Wouldn't recommend getting the temperature up too high because you pretty much void all the properties of it. Okay, look it up. Coconut oil. It's good for your third eye. MC12s, I think it is. It's one of the only things out there. Okay, avocados are another good, you know, source of things for your brain. Lots of brain foods out there, but I definitely recommend those. Detoxifiers. There's a lot of things that I daily try to take. Cilantro. It's a detoxifier, naturally. These are things you don't need to go on any health food store. You can get at your local grocery store. Fresh vegetables. These days, let's talk about that. Just get it out there. Fresh vegetables, from what i found, aren't even as good as from what's in the cans because they're not picking them at the height of freshness. They're picking them to make them look good at the store. They are picking those vegetables that they put in cans, even if they lose some through the processing of canning, you're still getting more protein. Look it up. I did. I care about what I put in my body. I care about what I put in my family's body. Cinnamon. Another great one. Don't let them talk you out of salt. It's a detoxifier. Red meat. Eat it. There's some no-nos to stay away from. Sodas. Come on, guys. Carbonation. Look, you got about like 20 plus feet of intestine. That's where all your poop sits. Yep, I said poop. And it's sitting in you right now. What have you been eating? It's sitting in there. Waiting to make its exit. And if you ate something toxic, or if you're not eating or absorbing the right nutrients, you know the inside of your intestine has billions of villia that things destroy like whole grains, wheat, and gluten, things like that. They literally destroy the insides of your intestines. You know that all disease can be linked to lack of nutrition in your intestine. Hello? Don't you think it's important to look at that? There's, you know, oxygen cleaning products for your intestine. How about just don't put the things in there to begin with that mess it up? if you can help it. Oils, I don't care what kind of oil it is, if it comes in a bottle it's not a good oil. Fats, you want to eat fats from like butter, that kind of fat, that's good fat, cooked with butter, that's a good way to go. Man, there's so many ways to stay healthy. Just being aware of what's in our food, genetically modified foods, avoiding foods, eating more organic if you can, avoiding sugars if you can. A lot of these things aren't good for us. We know that. How about listening to your body? You get a heartburn when you eat something? Stop eating it. It's not that hard. Listen to your body, folks. It's like listening, you know, having discernment, hearing the Holy Spirit, helping to guide your life. If you listen to it, it'll help guide you. If you listen to your body, it'll help guide you too. 
you know, back in back in the day when we grew in our soil and we had the right nutrients, there were stories of people living for hundreds of years. I don't think that's physically impossible. Some people might call me a freak. I say you're a freak for not doing the homework. If we ate right, we'd live a lot longer. If we were growing with the right nutrients, we were eating the right things, we would live a lot longer. So think about what you put in your body. Okay? I go on and on about lots of different things, but you need to find out what works for you because we all have different pH levels in our body and different things that we put in our body affect us differently. Like you take the flu shot and you don't get sick and I take it and it makes me sicker than a dog. Like, you immunize your child and you have a perfectly normal child at three years old for the booster child and then they go in with their child and the next day they have a child with the lights that are turned off. They still get to go home with their child but the lights are off. How that must be to lose your child, you know, lights are on, nobody's home over trying to do what's right for your child? How about reading the damn label before you let somebody just stick your child and put something in their body? How about you do it for yourself too? Take time to think about what it is that you put in your body and care about your family. Number one key to survival is community. Having people around you that are on the same sheet of music as you. So be healthy and get everybody healthy. You know there was many plagues that have plagued this earth before and people, the people that lived through those plagues like the Black Plague were the people who did not have their, immunis, their immunity compromise and that's what they're doing in this with all the radiation, the spraying, the genetically modified foods, the water, the fluoridation, the chloridation of water, halogens. Look up halogens. What's a good halogen? What's a bad halogen? There's only one good halogen and that's iodine. Okay? Again, I can make this the longest video because every day I think about health and it's not that hard. You know, it takes discipline and it takes, you know, cutting some of those things out. I'm going to make one more mention before I cut this video out because I think it's one of the one of the sleepers out there. In the middle of those three bottles right over there, there's a product called Survival Shield. It's a nano electrified silver. Okay, the smaller that you can make that particle, you know, the more effective it's going to be at getting into your system. And so Alex Jones has taken this down to a with, yeah, Dr. Group. A dude is a rock star. Okay, he's the one who helped Alex vet all these products. Okay, but. Silver has been used since the beginning of time as an antibiotic. Look at all the different things that silver's in. You own some silver? You, want to, you should stack some silver right now. Silver's probably super cheap. And if everybody finds out that silver works as an antibiotic and it helps, bu it helps boost antibiotics and it can cure viruses there's lots of viruses out there like Ebola. They've been talking about that anymore, have they? What happened to all that? It's amazing what they sweep under the rug. Don't sweep your pelt under the rug, folks. Know the truth. Find out what's the truth of what you're putting in your body. Care about what you're putting in your family's body. Find out about the Center for Disease Control, Monsanto. Realize that that's who's controlling our food. I'm going to say this too. I got to get this wrapped up. Monsanto, Vietnam, Agent Orange, ring a bell any of you Vietnam vets out there? You care about your grandkids, any of those grandkids you got? Well, that's the same company. Okay? Same company that sprayed you with Agent Orange is the one that's taking care of our food and you're feeding your grandkids those. Oh, by the way, you giving any of them chicken nuggets? Eating out a whole bunch? Come on, think about what you're eating. Know the truth. The truth. Yeah, the truth is viral, isn't it? So, once again, I'm your host, TV, where the truth goes viral.